Hello guys, in this tutorial we are going to be looking at different ways of exporting your Revit file into 3ds Max for better visualization. So the first method is to convert it to a CAD file. So you can come here under the application button here which is this blue arrow and you can click on export and just choose CAD format. So you can either use DWG or dxf for this i'm going to use dwg click next and now i'm going to save you know it uh, you know as you know the name dwg so i'm just replacing that click ok take a while and export So that had gone. So the next method is to click A and click export as well and click FBX. So I'm going to just replace the FBX file that I have here. Now FBX can help you to even import into non-autodesk, you know, software like you know um, Cinema 4D and the other file uh, software that actually import you know fbx like blender as well so let's save so that was that so the next step is to actually use um sweet workflows so when you click on it you can choose whether to you know render exterior or interior of the ready-made um, Revit file so one downside of this you know is that you must make sure that your Revit file can be opened in the um, 3s max so I'm using 2017 version of Revit with 2017 version of uh, 3ds max as well so that you know both of them are compatible or you can use higher version of 3ds max but make sure that the version of revit is not higher than the version of 3ds max that's the only thing i can say about that so i'm just going to click that and um it will bring this you know to view or modify the workflow setting before running the workflow click on settings so you can click here and you know just look at all these options maybe you can modify them so i'm just i'm not not interested in that so all i just want to do is just to click around so the next thing is it will ask you to select a destination and if you already have a 3ds max file that you are working on and you just want to add this to it then you click and you choose you know um existing 3ds max so now because i have 3ds max open even though there is no project in it it's giving me this third option so if you have not opened 3ds max at all so it will not give you that option it will only give you you know the first two so active 3ds max section so i'm going to pick that and you can see it's giving me you know this 3ds mark you can see it's untitled if there's a name i've given it let, let's let's see let me quickly name this let me save as you know and name it revit import so now click save and if i come to revit now and let's say i choose new if i choose new it's going to open new 3ds max for me but now if i choose this even though it's not it's not giving me that you know type 2 but i can just close this and do it again to be sure of what it wants to give me So 
active and you can see now it's given me the name so i'll just select it and you can see now i can continue so now it's transferring the data into 3ds max and it is opening you know now in 3ds max so that's really really pretty quick and i can start working on it so now i'm just going to come here and click on reset so i'm not saving yeah i really want to reset so now i can click on import and import the AutoCAD file so the way it is I'm just going to click OK there's no need to set anything you just have to click OK and you are through and here we are we have a AutoCAD file and we can start you know working on it so I'm going to reset again reset don't save yes okay then import now for the FBX, I'm going to click on link FBX. Click the FBX, click OK. Now um, I'm just going to choose do not combine by do not combine entities. That means it will be the way I exported it to be. So um, it's going to be asking you this question every time you want to import either Revit or FBX. So all you just have to do is, you know, many times to close, except if you have the plan to use mentally to render. But if you don't have the plan to use mentally to render, this message is not really, really important to you. So you can just close and it will just, you know, finish loading. So don't mind that message, it is for my recording software. So I'm just going to close this and you can see the way it looks in Revit is the way we have it. So the major challenge with this is you cannot delete anything. You know, the reason you cannot delete is because you imported as uh, FBX, you actually link, you didn't import. You know, come here, you can see you actually link the FBX and uh, and the important the important thing you know you need to know about this is that since you link you can always reload the file so let's say for example i come here again i delete this possibly let's say I just delete this so i can come export fbx you know override this one so yes, I want to replace. So it is it is exporting here. Now if I come here on 3ds Max, I can click on the application button, come to references, and click on manage links. So come to files. This is where the link to this you know file is. So I can click on reload. So on reload, I can choose, you know, not to reload the light that is coming from Revit and the cameras. So I can choose, you know, to auto smooth adjacent faces. Now, if I've been working on this, you know, I've applied materials to, you know, all the objects. So all I have to do is to make sure that I keep, I check these two uh option that allow me to keep the machine material uh, you know it really is not same materials parameters and same material assignments so all the material that i've assigned and the parameters will remain the way it is so anything that is coming that is new any object that is new on this is only 
what I will need to apply material on. So I'll just click OK. It will take a while. And now it has loaded, and you can see that that you know object that we deleted is no longer there. So it's really, really good to link your file. And you you don't have to do it only on FBX. You can also link you know your AutoCAD files instead of importing them. And the last option is uh, I can just come here, you know, undo. So you can see I've undoed it now. You can see I can close this file. Just close everything like that and reset. So this last option is what I use most because I don't have to export anything. I don't have to convert anything to FBX or DWG or whatsoever. So I just have to close my file when I finish, you know, working like this. And I go to import and I click on link Revit. And you can see this is the file. Click open. And it will give me the same option that it gave me when I wanted to import um, the FBX. So which is to, you know, combine by Revit material or do not combine. For this, I'm going to just combine it so that, you know, I'm just going to combine by Revit material for you to understand the way it will actually work. And uh, though I don't like to do it, sometimes it might come handy and really, really useful for you, you know, to just combine by Revit material if you understand the workflow very well. So let's just click attach and wait for it to load. So it's asking this question again. I'm just going to close it. I'm not going to be using V-Ray to render. And if it, I'm going to be using V-Ray to render. Uh, sorry, I'm not going to be using Mentally to render. And if I'm going to be using Mentally to render, I'm just going to click on yes so that it will, you know, do whatever it wants to do over there. So now that we have this, if I click on any of these objects right now, it's it's one any object that have you know that same material that this wall have will be combined into one now the the major thing i don't like about this is that i may want to change this material you know to be different from this but now that they have been combined there's no way for me to do that so but yet with you know with the understanding that it's going to happen this way i might have changed you know everything you know applied assign different material, you know, as they're supposed to be in Revit so as to avoid that. So those are the four ways of importing, you know, into 3ds Max, you know, your Revit file that you have worked on. I believe it's helpful and let me have your opinion so that we can know what we, we are expected, you know, to be doing with our tutorials and you can also leave your comments you know for what you expect you know the kind of tutorials that you expect us to make and we'll try as much as possible maybe weekly to upload at least simple tricks that you can use with your you know either revit or 3ds max file thank you